dope. I, I used to come to the, uh, what was it, Sunday Shane Theater? What? Sunday Theater? Yeah, 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 man. With Cosby out there with the, the AR-15. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I sold a total of 290,000 records in the album. Uh, my album is yeah. yeah, I go back and look at the total. So, you know, shout out there, I'm crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. We always come, we're gonna keep coming. It don't matter how many records we sell. Yeah. So we're gonna keep doing it, man. Shout out to my uncle Charles, put it on. All this boots in the air, I'm gonna have to come up over here in a few minutes. I gotta give you props on all those records, you know, man. Um, that's actually for Texas, for the whole United States, you know. So you're putting it out. Now, um, I was reading on your Twitter, you know, you just touched down in Arizona. We did it to a video, man. You tell everybody about the video that y'all did? Uh, I got a partner by the name of Gmo. He got a record called Champion, so we shot, actually, I shot two videos yesterday and did five verses. You know what I'm saying? Like, I come home, uh, this is what I come home off the road with. Nice. You see what I'm saying? I got a few more verses to do. When I land in San Antonio, I mean, we just work. A lot of people, they lazy, and they wonder why they ain't got the type of money or fame that they want. It's because they make their goals too, you know, shallow. You know, first you get $100,000, and they think they rich forever. Boots and Lee. Yes, sir. I need you over here. I got my artist Boots and Lee in the building. One of the records called Drink in My Hand. And um, I, I just like working with artists that don't mind working. That, that appreciate the music. I like artists that study and pay attention to what's going on. Because most of the times when you're famous, people expect you to do all the work. But when I see artists that, like him, he took the time to record his own project, Bootsy Lee, you know what I mean? And they brought it to me, like, yo, I'm done. I'm done. So let them name the name of the project, I'm going to talk loud to you. Just doing me. Dropping July 20th, 2012. It's gonna be a very interesting project. Look forward. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna let you down. I'm not gonna let you down. Yes, sir. We're working, man. That's what's up. 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 Now, well, no, Flip, what's your, um, you know, number one music video of all time? You know, you got like, Mr. Michael Jackson right here, you know? It's my, it's my favorite. What's your favorite music video? Not mine. Just period. Just period. Favorite music video. It gotta be, it gotta be Thriller. Thriller right here, man. And then remember the time, like, we had Eddie Murphy and all that shit. But Thriller, man, so it was like, ooh, that's back, like, like, videos was exciting to watch, like, nowadays, you might hire a director or some shit and you might take your hundred dollars and just get your couple girls in the car. You know what I'm saying? You got out of video. Videos now really don't be having shit to do with the song. You know what I mean? So like I, I, I root for like the underdogs, I root for the rebels. You know what I'm saying? People that don't, you know, kiss ass like the tongue. You know what I'm saying? Like we grind. So you know the real artists from the artists that that's gonna be around for a year. Like cats like me, too short and snoop, yeah. and we can we can tour forever. And like, we ain't never gotta go platinum with in our life. I sold 14 million albums, 10 million ringtones, Snoop's at 30. You know what I'm saying? I'm younger than Snoop. You see what I'm saying? So I'm, I got a, a lot of more albums. Yeah. So go to dapkip.com. I just dropped a picture of how kids can make it rain. Go get the new Devil XL, they gave us a review. Check that out, I got two pockets on the cover. Get the new double XL and you'll see the mixtape. And anything else you wanna know, follow me on Twitter at Lil Flip713. Indeed. That's what's up, Lil Flip, man. And uh, when I ask you this, man, uh, where were you on 9-11, uh, you know, 2001? You remember that morning? Yeah, you know, yeah, I remember. I was supposed to go to New York and talk to Jive, actually. And uh, college or something like that. I decided not to go. My other ex-business partner went. Like he went to New York, I decided not to go, but we didn't get in touch with him and shit, we didn't know what happened. So I was actually supposed to go to New York on the first September 11th. Then the second year, Billy Siegel, he hit me and wanted me to get on the song, it's about drink. He ended up putting Bun B on it, but he wanted me to fly to New York the next year, the anniversary, to record the record. And I was like, man, I have to fly to New York no more. September 11th, so I didn't end up getting on the song. He 
for Bum B, only way he's still shopping me out. So shout out to my homie, Ben C. So, you know, shout out to everybody, man, we pray for you, long stand with us. Keep your eyes open, man, don't believe everything they tell you. So, man, no talk, no play, man. It's been a pleasure being no sitting here to Albuquerque videos, you know, Aaron Boys, Al Big, everybody out there, man. No offense, anyone want to say what's your name? All your partners out there, man? Yeah, 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 man, shout out to my homie right here, man. So, I'm always fed, you know what I'm saying? You got the tap, man, you got the tap, man, on this room. For real. Bitch, come get, come so many on this, bro. You got your, your life, bro. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, wow. It's a little flip right there. That's real. Boosie, let me see your phone, Boosie. Who got a phone on? That's bright. That's kind of bright. Where he can get it clear. And then uh, public access. Yeah, there we go. You see it? That's yeah. real. He got the autograph. Uh, that's, uh, I got it at a, at a my, takeover tour yeah. like two years ago. Look, pull your camera back right quick to see. There we go. Then he got the Clover G. Yeah. Wow. Same chat as this right here. And a 713. 713. But that's my actual, that's, that's my signature. Yeah. I went, I went straight home. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. When you, when you, you get to meet fans, and then the more you travel, and then you know, most of them, they get older. Like, it, was, it was people that parents grew up jamming my shit that's booking me to do fraps. Like, they got fraternities. And, like, yeah, we fucking you, man. My mom used to play that shit. So, like, we stay going. You might, you might see me one day at an arena doing 30,000. You might catch me in a club that hold 200. You might catch me in a year with Wu-Tang. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of people, they just, when they get to a certain level, you know, they get Hollywood, and that's because they're not used to having money. But coming from the streets, having money before I got in the rap, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to kiss your ass for nothing. I'm going to do with it. I feel like if I don't, get it by earning it, I don't want it. I don't want you to give me a Grammy or an Oscar based on who produced my record or who's managing me. Like, if I can't win it based on the quality of my music, it ain't meant to be. But in the meantime, and I ain't supposed to be a blind and back Yo, I gotta go. No flip. <laughs> Shout out to Channel 27, Public Access. It's your boy Lil Flip, at Lil Flip 713 on Twitter. Yeah, it is. Woo! And we at Leo's right now. Shout out to Charles. Albine, Charles. Yeah. Shout out to Mommy Charles putting it together.